All right, so here's the pitch. Everything that you were taught in school was a lie. That Christopher Columbus landed on the shores of the New World, proving to the world that the Earth wasn't flat, and then entered into a gentle, loving relationship with the Native Americans. That Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity because an apple fell out of a tree and hit him on the head. Motherfucker! And that Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, a.k.a. Honest Abe, was born in a log cabin in Kentucky to mother Nancy Hanks and father Tom Lincoln. Only upon closer inspection, you realize the bullshit at hand. All these cute little tales told to protect us. When in reality, they're there to manipulate us and fucking deceive us. Because the truth is, people already knew the Earth wasn't flat when Columbus set sail. And that motherfucker didn't befriend the Indians. He raped and fucking killed them. And then he fed their fucking entrails to his dogs. And then Newton. There is no record that that douche canoe came up with his ingenious idea after suffering some kind of comical I dream of genie blow to his fucking head. His head. Actually, guys, this story is kind of interesting. So the Apple story actually came from a professor some 60 years after Newton made his findings. That professor used the Apple as a learning tool to help explain gravity as though he was talking to idiots. Which obviously he fucking was! Yet, people actually believe that Lincoln was born in that log cabin in Hodgenville, Kentucky. When the reality, my friends, and stay with me here, was that he was born in a tiny little hole in the road called Puzzle Creek, which is near the now bustling metropolis of Bostick, North Carolina, home of the world-famous Lincoln Center. No shit? Google that. And his father wasn't really that short, squatty, squatty, shorty, short man Tom Lincoln either. His dad was a tall, gangly motherfucking cattle rancher named Abraham Enlow, who looked exactly the fuck like him. All right, the backstory is Honest Abe's mom had moved to North Carolina to work as a maid for the wealthy Enlow family. And she did such a good job that old Mr. Enlow gave her a bonus. <clears throat> Nine months later, little Abraham, don't fucking call me Junior, came whopping out her pussy. And as was the case in those days, the townsfolk with nothing else to do, they all just began to talk. And fearing that his illegitimate child would ruin his good standing in the community, Enlo concocted this plan. He paid an unskilled Kentucky laborer named Tom Lincoln to take that little slut Nancy Hanks and her bastard son Brat and go back to Hodgenville where they belong. And the rest, as they say, is history.